Good morning, Food Foresters. Amy here. Thought I'd give you a quick summer update on everything that's been going on here at the homestead. Um, it is 80 degrees, but with the humidity, it is 90 degrees right now, and it's nine o'clock in the morning. Whew. I'm already perspirating, probably gonna be uh, sweating here, but Let's go ahead and let's walk around the homestead and I'll show you what's going on, what's growing, what's producing, and what has been dying off because the past two weeks here, with the humidity, we have been in the 100s. So, let's get the tour started. All right, we are at the bananas in front of our house. These are a mixture of the ice cream and the dwarf Cavendish. And then the two plantains, uh, those are rhino horn plantains. They're going on, going on to year two, um, but they are not ready to produce for a while. We got, I think Donald said ginger. And then with all this rain we've been getting, you can tell we got new bananas popping up. More bananas. My fire bush has been going absolutely insane on the growth. I mean, I'm in the driveway just to get the full view. Um, now, with a lot of rain, we do sometimes get, if the sun doesn't get in the way, that is a banana bloom on a tree that's little over a year old. That's technically not normal. Um, only because it, you could tell we know it's an ice cream banana one that we planted here but the base isn't big enough um, for an example see how nice and fat the base is on that one and that's a year old and it's taller you know almost as tall as the house so I'm thinking with all the we're thinking with all the rain it produced this bloom mature immaturely. Next to it is the Mexican sunflower. And let me get out of the sun a little bit here. And that is taller than our house. Um, we're still doing this, but it's been so much between the rain and the humidity, it's been put on hold. Uh, this is the mulberry tree and it is doing great and then we have the bananas here along the house to give us some shade because the afternoon sun beats on this side of the house those are all doing great here is my comfrey and it has just it's seeded like three or four times with all the rain so i'm just letting it grow do its thing I'll move it probably um, spring here and then here's the other ones we just planted these these are fairly new and they're doing great offering shade for this side of the house and then over here that big tree over the our well is also a mulberry tree and as you can tell, it's just doing awesome. Sun cassava. This, I believe, is the little prince. Banana tree. My jasmine. We got pineapples underneath. This is another mulberry tree that we planted uh, this past winter. Doing great. We had to chop down that willow. Here is the brown turkey fig. And... This is the LSU turkey fig. We just gotta get this crap off of it. With all the rain, we can't get into the ditch because the ditch is full of water. <laughs> um, over here is the curry leaf and it actually came back. We thought it was dead and we left it alone and lo and behold, it's come back. <laughs> uh, this is the white Pakistani. 
mulberry, uh, my everberry, or no, I'm sorry, this is the river birch, lemongrass, this is bamboo. We picked up three bamboo plants to help us create more of a natural barrier over here. Grapes. We have three types of grapes growing right now, guys. This is the Florida home grape. They're not quite ready. They gotta get this really dark burgundy um, color and they are, they, they'll get sweet. But this thing this year is just loaded with their uh, grapes, loaded with grapes. Uh, my bay leaf has decided to sprout again and adding more to its to the tree. And look, I mean, grapes. I'm gonna have a table, a bowl full of grapes on the table. Um, this is the Pam. Um, we haven't seen any grapes on this one, so, but it came back. More lemongrass, and then we have, I'm not sure, this one here is a different type of grape. I can't find the name of it, it's somewhere on here, but we got the weeds. And then our muscadine. This is a native grapevine in Florida, we gotta cut that part down. Um, because the uh, telephone or the electric people told us, but there's some muscadine grapes right there. But the muscadine is also loaded with grapes. This was the blueberry patch. We're probably going to dig that up and try somewhere else and in a different place. Um, Loquat's doing fine. The Hawaiian, which is the the sweet. Hawaiian one uh, pineapple produced. We have that in our kitchen right now. We're letting it ripen. Water everywhere. It rained this morning. That's why it's so freaking humidity. All right, so over here in the garden, our blackberry bush is growing and producing again. Look at that. This is one blackberry. It's huge. But yeah, we got blackberries again. I'm gonna dip over the side here. And this is where we have the peanuts. We just have to get to it. Another blackberry. Um, this was the lemongrass we divided up and the other one over there. And then this is the loquat. And our loquat, let me, um, let me go inside because I know it'll be hard to see. But um, as you can tell, we got caught in the rain when we were uh, mowing. But the loquat has started to produce again. Right there. And it, this time around, it's loaded with loquats again. And like I said, it's just because of all this rain we've been getting. It's been absolute crazy. Um, lemongrass. Sour sap is doing great. These are our uh, mangoes. This is Donald's voodoo plant. This is a weed, but this thing's gorgeous looking. That is supposed to produce a flower in a few years, and it's supposed to stink, just like the corpse flower. <laughs> Uh, plants we saved. They're all doing great. Cassava's in here. And then over here, it's, it's just gone crazy. The potato vines have taken over everything. That was where I had kale. Kale's gone. This is the eggplant one. We got a few eggplants holding on. This was the strawberry patch that's gone and then this is another eggplant bed but the this one is actually was producing flowers but no eggplant um got a cranberry hibiscus over there we got another one over here and we are going to come up with a different plan for this because 
it has gotten the rain and the the weeds just go crazy that was our other strawberry patch totally gone um little banana we re uh transplanted my moringa over here and it is doing great all of them have survived and I even got moringa flowers, so hopefully I'll get some seed pods this year. This one did produce seed pods last year, so I'm hoping that it will do it again. This one came back, so I'll be good on that. And then our row of bananas out front. There's another rack. And like I said, we started to mow and then it started raining, so we were able to we just haven't been able to finish mowing. So, let's go in here. Okay, this was the old pen. Um, but from here, we have another bloom and another rack. Oh no, we cut the one rack down. But we found another bloom in here. I just can't quite get to it because but we've also started planting the babies in rows in here. So we can start making this the uh, banana area. And as you can tell, they're there and down there. Going up to our septic mound, we're coming to our raised bed area. Tomatoes. Yeah, um, not good. When the Hurricane Elsa came through. A lot of them got bent over. I tried to save them. They started to grow again, but they're not producing, and now they're dying off for the season. It is August, um, so we'll more likely be tearing that out. These guys are doing great. Um, in here, we had planted the stevia, Unfortunately, it never came up. So, we'll try um, this uh, fall. We're going to be planting radishes and carrots in here and beets. So, don't worry. We'll figure out something that'll grow in there. Um, oregano and... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Rosemary and oregano. They have been hit hard with the sun and they are not producing... So more than likely we'll probably take them out, freshen up the soil, and then try them again because basil and sage have done great. We have harvested, harvested these guys several times. Um, this one looks like it's going to seed here. It's going to flower. Um, and we just take, we cut half of it back, leave the other half to grow. That way, if a plant dies, we're not, you know, we haven't lost much of anything but with all this rain you can tell flower buds are starting to form on top so I'll need to harvest that and then our buzz buttons have done great um, I have spearmint growing finally <laughs> so the buzz buttons um, I harvest and dehydrate every couple of days doing great then over here, I cannot remember the name of these uh, beans, but I'll have to look them, I'll probably, in past videos we've done it. They're doing really good, they're producing. We lost the squash to vine borers, as you can tell right there on the fence line. Then over here is another tire we had planted. It's doing, eh, okay. Here are the banana trees over by the dots. Hi guys! Good morning! Um, more bananas. These guys are doing great. Then over here, we planted the different peppers. And as you can tell, Donald's very happy. We got peppers growing. This one never produced, that one is producing, and it's got little peppers on it already. And over here is <clears throat> soybeans. We've already harvested some. 
they are great. These are really, really good. Um, they're doing good. And then we're also going to be saving seeds because we want more of these. This one's just loaded with seeds. I'm more than likely going to have to harvest this evening. And then the mysterious tomatoes, they're doing the same thing. It's the heat. The heat is just getting to them. Same with my beautiful butterfly pea trellis. Um, as you can tell, it's dying off. I have seed pods everywhere, like right here. But the seed pods that were down here have all gone. But as we go up, I'm still getting flowers. And I'm just going to keep this until I can't do any more with it. Until it fully dies. I mean, look at all those flowers. Ain't that gorgeous? And then it's all, it's the heat. The heat is just getting to everything. And then here is the chocolate baby bells. I got to weed them, but they're starting to die off. But you can tell. There's some over here. Those, they, they, uh, sometimes if they grow too fast, they die really fast. So I'll be picking those this uh, weekend here, or not this weekend, this afternoon. And then here is our Asian yard lawn green bean vines, fully loaded with beans again. I'll have to harvest. Right now I have four gallons that I have to get snapped and uh, blanch them so I can put them in the freezer. But as you can tell, it's just fully loaded and still producing. More of the plants. We grew something here. I cannot remember it. It's the same as the other tires. I just can't remember the name of that. And then here's an Everglades tomato plant I just noticed with tomatoes on it. This was Donald's rice patty. It is completely flooded. And let's go into the next section. All right, by Food Force 3 and all the ducks and Thomas and Mrs. Turkey, or um, Blondie. There she is over here. And as you can tell, it is just completely flooded over there. That's okay. Plenty of fish in there that everybody can fish for, have fun, and swim. Food Force 3, we got more bananas. The purple sweet potato vines have gone crazy. The avocado came back. We lost this during the freeze, and lo and behold, it has sprouted back. So we got avocado. Also in there is my lemon and lime tree, which it's just insane. Cassava is doing great. We got the lemongrass in here. Um, got more flooding still. This is a, another type of mulberry tree. I don't remember the name of it. Um, more cassava. We got a pawpaw in here. Donald is building this. Um, this is going to be for his call ducks. Uh, again, he got caught in the rain. He started putting fencing around it. Got another loquat over there. There's more bananas. There's another bloom over there. More bananas along here. Um, I'm not going to walk in there because... I really I don't know what's in there. <laughs> this is the banana patch along the shed that you guys have seen plenty of times. Everything's doing great except for the weeds here. Um, no blooms over here yet, but we are expecting this one to be producing. Um, he's pretty fat right here, or she, I should say. Um, as you could tell, but they're doing great. And then water in the ditches. Ugh, 
and I'll show you all the animals. Show you how everybody's doing over here. So this rooster, we decided to name him Campbell because pretty soon he'll be Campbell's soup. Hmm. Uh, but he's doing great. He's still really friendly. Hello, Campbell. Here, will you let me pet you? Can I pet you? Hmm? Not today? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> He's doing great. Here is Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. They are back together again. Mrs. Turkey has done a wonderful job. She is a really good mother. Um, she is a royal palm. Mr. Turkey is a uh, red bourbon. And then here are our breast chickens. We have two roosters and two hens. That's a definite. Um, the bigger one, let me see if I can get zoomed in here. The big one in the back is the dominant male. As you can tell, he's way bigger. Um, they should start laying eggs here soon. They're doing great. And here is Stupid and my crew. Hi, Stupid, good morning. Let me stick you guys in there. Hi, guys. Good morning. All right. And we'll come around here to the grow out pen. We got a lot going on in the grow out pen. And I'll show you this. This is the mini, we call this the mini food forest. We got a strawberry tree again growing. We got coffee, more bananas, passion fruit, dragon fruit. Um, there's also, um, how, what did he call it? ginger and turmeric growing in here we got a mango miracle fruit that is the jacoba kava we had a volunteer papaya we have no papaya plants we lost them all this past year uh, with this past winter but this one survived so we're letting it stay there and we're hoping when it produces fruit we'll um, save the seeds and then in here is all the call ducks. There's Donald's call ducks. Let's see if I can get inside here. All right, these are what's left. These are the broad breasted whites. We had 40 of them um, between the rats and other issues. We lost a lot it, and we'll discuss that in another video. Um, that was hatched out by Mrs. Turkey. And then there's another, there's a couple more right there. So we have a couple of the heritage breeds to make up for what we lost, but they're doing great. And then there's the duckies we hatched out. This is the six. Hi guys. They're doing great. Here's Donald's call ducks. We have three males and the rest are females. So we're pretty happy about that ratio so we can get eggs and get more. Um, there is the phantom chicken that thinks it's a duck. And then, let me see if anybody else is over here. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this area we didn't put any hay on because that's mainly where we feed them. Hello guys, they're picking up my boots. Hello, all you. That Donald has named this one Donald. That one is, I think, mask. No, mine's, yeah, that one's the mask because it's got a green head. So like the mask, Jim Carrey's movie. And then next to him is Top Hat. That's the one I like right there, Top Hat. And then we got a couple, we haven't figured out names for the other ones yet, but they're just so pretty. So, so pretty. Hello, Donald. And they got, we gave them their pool back. That one looks like it has a little bit of mallard in it because it's got the iridescent wings. Or some type of something, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then over here we got the baby bantams and the two turkey necks. Uh, we brought them in here for because they've grown up a little bit, but I don't want to open a door because everybody bum rushes them. 
but they're in there eating. Oh, you stretched out your collar again, didn't you? Hello, Clyde boy. I know, baby, it's been so muddy, huh? I know, yes. Strike a pose. You gonna strike a pose? I cried. You can strike a pose. Yeah. <laughs> I pet you. Yeah. But you a stinky boy. You know that you stinky again. You would think with all this rain you wouldn't think. <clears throat> He's doing great. We separated him because he started pushing Bonnie away from the food. And he started getting rough with Bonnie. And so we think Bonnie might be Prego. Yes, we think. We're not sure. I've never seen her go into heat. But we know the left side is lunch, which is where their stomach or rune is. And then the right side normally holds the babies. Bonnie girl. But she has been, I've come out here several times. She is totally sound asleep to where I would be yelling her name and she would not be waking up. And then she'd wake up and look at me confused. Um, she is also acting way different. Normally when I'm around her, she comes right up to me and uh, she hasn't been doing that. Are you trying to get some more food? I know, daddy's gotta lower that for you, honey. But, if she did get pregnant, we don't know the date. We have no clue. Um, so, we separated them just because Clyde was being rough. So we're hoping, but we will see. All right, so that's it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me, tell me how your summer crops or herbs or plants are doing. Um, obviously, you can see I am now fully on sweating. So I'm going to get into some AC, which we really value here in Florida. And we will see you guys on the next time. And remember, grow something for your family. Bye, guys.